everything really kind of originated organically. Me and Sam uh, went to Ikea to pick up some furniture and uh, it was Sam's first time there, so I kind of just gave him the experience. The first thing that came to mind was, you know, well, why is it, why are these these crazy names? My favorite kind of music is like black metal, especially like Norwegian, Sweden, Scandinavian metal, um, and uh, they all have crazy names you can't pronounce. I was kept chasing Jeff around with different items. Like one of the things that's on the site is Sam Spell. It's a horse, and like, but when you hear it and it's like Sam Spell, you know, like, <laughs> like oh man, that band sounds awesome. But no, it's just a little green horse. Each aisle we would go into, like, do you want the boot rock? Like, whatever it was called. And we laughed about it the whole way through the store. And we got here and we started harassing everybody here. Like, is this a metal band or is this an Ikea item? And like, nobody was getting the right. I remember we were looking ones up and then you just said, let's look. Make it, let's do a site, let's get it out there. And he had this look as I'm like, really? And yeah. he's like, like, yeah, let's do it. So we got super excited about it. We started putting it together and that was, we got the idea on Friday. Monday, we came in, we put it all together. I mean, we were ready to launch it, but we weren't like planning to launch it. We just started sharing it with friends and then uh, his friends put it on Reddit and you know, it just snowballed from there. Well, what if we put it out there and we see if other people want this conversation? A lot of people talk about agency culture. I've been at a ton of ad agencies and people are always like, here's our culture, here's what we believe in. And it's just words on a wall. And this is real. I mean, what else is agency culture then with three of us getting together and saying, hey, we're going to make this? Second part of agency culture, we went to partners and our bosses, and they said, you know what guys, go for it. Yeah. And being empowered to do that, that's the kind of place I want to work at. It's kind of a funny conversation that's been growing here at Kingston Plus State. It's this idea that if you're not creating something, then you're not relevant. Yeah. So the longer it takes to create things, the longer you stretch it out, the less relevant you become. We're looking at over a million unique visitors on just the 10th, and that's not including the before or after the 10th. One day. Uh, one day. One <laughs> day. Uh, over close to 14 million unique page views. It's it's kind of crazy. I mean, me staying up all, all night for two nights, I mean, it's it's definitely worth it to actually see all the, the success that the page has brought. The thing I would say to Ikea is we got the crowd, you know, a, an underbelly that might not have thought of Ikea. Now we have them thinking about Ikea, let's sell some product. Yeah, there's so much potential here, uh, not just from the different types of advertising that to come of this, but um, the actual selling of products. Please don't take the site down. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, two, thanks for, you have a great sense of humor. You're a great brand. And you know what? We want to work. For you guys we would love to do something on this level or bigger this was something that we dreamed up quickly and like look what kind of traffic it did so thank you for being cool with it being out there and let's see what can happen next